Okay, it is exciting here because we're about to tackle one of the bigger projects on our list. This is Kayleen. She loves sailing and is trying to convince me as well. Kira's not convinced, but Carl knows what's up. I lost both my feet, so obviously we called the boat Footloose. Welcome back to All About Spray. A few episodes back, we uninstalled the generator, which means that the only way to charge our batteries was through the alternator of the engine. Obviously, this isn't any good as we're aiming to go down to Mexico next year. Uh, we need to get a way of powering our batteries up. We much prefer to live off the grid in a more quiet way. So uh, we're about to juice up our boat with a whole bunch of amp hours from solar. Footloose is going to have two 200, oops, I just spat. Footloose is gonna have two 200 watt panels on either side and then three 100 watt panels, um, flexible panels on the Bimini and Dodger, making a total of, math, 700 watts, which is awesome. That should be enough to keep up with our refrigerator, our lights, and even our water maker, which we're gonna be installing in a future video with no problem. So like all boat projects, they tend to be a little bit bigger than expected. So in order to install the solar panels, we need to build some hard stainless railings that the 200 watt panels can mount on. So that's where we're starting. What you got there? Parts for the railing. I've been gone. Kaylee picked them up. Ooh, wee! It's like Christmas morning. We bought fittings to do the railing because, well, we thought about welding it, but we either have to get someone to come down to the marina or wait till we haul out so we can have 220 so I can weld it and mostly just got anxious to get it done. So these are so expensive, these fittings, but now the job's done, we can move it off the list and move on to the next one. It's all, well, it's not done It's yet. not done, but it'll be done tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you're that. Just drop the fitting in the water, so I'm gonna have to go diving for it. Uh, kinda knew that was gonna happen, of course. When we were trying to work on the rails, I went and dropped in one, dropped one of the fittings overboard. I'm about to jump in and grab it so we can finish that job. So yay for making work for myself. Take it away from me before I drop it again. We've got to cut some more railing. The last piece was a little bit too long, so I'm gonna go over to the shop. Mm. 
careful with that step. Oh, so we're using these barbecue mounts and we've got these aluminum angle irons and we're going to use that to mount to the new stainless railings. Oh man, that last one's just barely going to make it on there, but it's fine. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yes, yeah. this isn't ready. Yeah. And then we have to mount this to here before mounting the whole thing on. So we didn't get the solar panels hanging like we were hoping today. And I've got to go away for work for eight days. And Ty's got to go back to training. So we're a little disappointed. But um, we've got to clean up now and get the boat ready for um, being away for a few days. Hopefully when we're back we can get them on and mounted. and getting that much closer. It's turned into a bit of a jigsaw puzzle because we couldn't get the clearance we needed just out of the angle iron brackets. And Tyler just got back from the Worlds in Italy, the snowboard competition that he was racing in, and he got first place. We are now on to boat projects now that he's done his snowboard season for the year and hopefully we can get some <laughs> yeah I've been on boat projects all winter but now we're doing it together which is very helpful because he's kind of better at thinking the big picture stuff like thinking of the whole project where I get kind of stuck on like the actual doing part it's now like four o'clock and we literally spent all day looking for the brackets that we cut a few weeks ago so that's how our day is going <laughs> We're gonna have to get a Phillips head on the ratchet. Okay. Because we can't get straight at this. So you're gonna have to ratchet. dock lines here and the winch here winch handle so we're gonna have to measure that still and get it we'll go as far forward as we can to not hit our knuckles and then the other thing is how much 
rotation we're going to get off it, which it's not the smoothest to rotate, but so we'll be building a a little thing that you can rotate it out, pivot up to the sun. Yeah, a couple arms or something off the bracket here. We're thinking for now just some simple brackets before we've already got carried away with this system so just kind of like to make room for the winch we're gonna have something here just for while cruising and then something that goes bigger for when we're at anchor and we can really put the wings out and get the power going so I think they'll kind of live it and that's tons of room I, I think they'll live at maybe that angle and that's uh, not tons of room. <laughs> it's pretty tight. It's gonna, knuckle grazers. It's gonna kill some knuckles, but hey, if you know if you know what you're getting into, just pay attention. I'd say we're pretty pretty good. Hey, Ty. <laughs> Next step of the solar is getting the wiring sorted. So I'm going to try and prep the wiring um, for Ty and I to put it in later this afternoon once he's done skydiving. Getting close with the wiring now. I'm just prepping the charge controllers. Um, I've used an old bamboo cutting board and I'm gonna mount this where the generator used to be. So I'm just gonna get ready to drill that in now. better now. Right on. Make sure I don't like arc the batteries with my pin. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get all these MC4, MC4 connectors figured out, fuses, the whole thing that I made up and ordered a month ago and never wrote or it Or like out. two months ago. Two months ago. Well I never wrote it down and then yeah. And so now I gotta remember, which isn't my strong suit. Do you remember when I said maybe you should draw a diagram? And I said, no, 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 I'll remember this. <laughs> no, um, it's not that I need to remember. I just gotta kinda, uh, I just gotta refigure out what, what I came up with. 
I guess that's remembering. I have this irrational fear that every time I hook up something new to the battery bank, there's going to be an explosion. So, hopefully no explosion. Rational fear number 550. Good thing you're not an electrician. <laughs> Did it just spark? Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not an electrician. I think you do pretty good though. Electroneer? Is that what I said in the last Yeah, you episode? said electroneer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely, Electroneering. Definitely an electroneer. <laughs> Trying to connect to the Bluetooth before we hook up the panels, so we know what happens when we plug them in. Okay, I've got the solar panel in the sun completely shaded off with a blanket now, and we've got the battery connection hooked up to the charge controller, and then we're about to do the charge controller to the panel connection now. Then they'll be working like a month later. Okay, you ready, Ty? We're not really sure yet. Okay, we're a little disappointed as we thought that we got the solar working, but we went for our trip, which you'll see in next week's video, and it's really inconsistent. Sometimes we're getting amps out of the panels, most of the time we're not. So some sort of wiring connection, or even maybe a dot panel, we're not really sure yet. We've got some sleuthing to do before we know that we can charge our batteries with the solar. So big time fail there. <laughs> But next week you'll see us head out to Desolation Sound on Footloose where we'll, we took some friends with us and if you want to make sure that you get to see that video, please subscribe to All About Spray Sailing. Click the bell to be notified and we'll see you next time. <laughs>